gorgeous. Good, and how are you? Ben? Fantastic. And your very funky glasses, which I'm in love with. I know, there's, you know, they hide the wrinkles. That's why I wear them, right? What wrinkles? Oh, I know, I know. So what brings you here tonight, darling? Um, well, I definitely want to support um, Lori and James. And work-life matters is really important in terms of setting the tone for the workplace. Um, they definitely honor people who set high standards for in LGBT inclusiveness. And what's going on with you right now? Well, I have this, um, this bunch of things kind of floating around on television. You go look at them. But what my heart is is this project called Garbo Dreams, GarboDreams.com, and it's about the life of Greta Garbo, and it's a theatrical production, which we do in people's living rooms and in lounges, and we're actually bringing elements of that online, which is awesome. really cool. How can we find out about that? Go to GarboDreams.com. Okay. Hey, well, I have, I'm going to have dreams about you, and I'm gay. I, don't know, <laughs> I love her. She's so beautiful. Can I, I could rock that dress. Uh, it's an Urvashi Joneja. She's a designer from Bombay. Okay, so. Bombay. Ooh, I'm feeling a little Indian. Okay, well, listen, thank you for supporting this amazing, amazing course, event, and you. you're gorgeous. Yeah, gorgeous as well. So it's so good to see you. I'm with Jennifer, the other creator of In Between Men, an actress and producer and extraordinaire. You're, you do it all, and you look beautiful in Leopard. How are you? Thank you. Very good. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. So we are just talking to Quincy. What an amazing show you guys have. Thank you very much. We're very proud of it. And how did this collaboration come about? <laughs> so everybody's asking us that lately. Um, we met through somebody who we actually killed off in the first season. <laughs> and so um, he, went, he came and saw a production of something that I had directed. I'm, I'm a theater director primarily before this. And he, he came and saw it, and he asked me to take a meeting, and I did. And this all came about after that. So I asked him, can you give us a little sneak peek tidbit, like what's going to happen this season? In season two or season three? Cause season three. We don't know yet. Okay. <laughs> still, They're still thinking about it. We don't know yet. There's lots to happen. Can you top season two? Uh, I think we can always top ourselves. Okay. Well, yeah. I think it's fantastic. Again, please watch In Between Men. It's an amazing, sexy, awesome, wonderful show. And I'm so proud. And thank you for coming and supporting this amazing Life Matters event. And why is this so important to you? Well, I love Lori, and so anything that she's connected to, I really like. Lori did the first piece on In Between Men for Huffington Post about me and the show, and so she, I'm a huge fan of hers. Well, it's just great that she acknowledges all these great companies that really help our community. So, again, thank you for being here and supporting. Oh, thank you. And good luck with the, with the, with the season, and I hope it goes great. Thank you. I'm with the beautiful Lakey and Breeze. How are you? Good, very good. Good, thank you. So you're a famous agent, I hear. I am a talent agent in New York City, yeah. I hear you represent Mikey Cosimano. I do, the beautiful Mikey Cosimano, yes. Okay. Well, he's one of my favorites. I have, you know, go to his website. So, Breeze, tell me about your dance company. My dance company is called We Dance. It's a contemporary dance company, and uh, we're very excited to show more of the work in 2014. Uh, come and support www.wedance.com. I would love that in the French. I love the French. So, tell me, what kind of dance is it? It's a contemporary dance company. Um, award winner, uh, yeah, it's a um, theatrical, um, dramatic dance company that portrays the society and stretch the reality of the everyday life that we put on stage and uh, we want to reconnect with humanity. Where are you performing? We're performing uh, in November at the Salvatore Capezio Theatre on Union Square and we have a few performances in November there. And then 2014, we're working on the schedule and the venues and all of that. So, um, yeah, it's a lot coming up, and we're very excited about it. Okay, that sounds great. I love dance, so please support this dance company. It's amazing. One more time, what is the address of the website? It's www.ouidance.com. Damn, it's hard between French and English. I'm like, yeah. Okay. <laughs> we're going to put it like magic here, so you don't have to worry about it. Oh, wonderful. So how, how fun is it being an agent in New York City? It is a lot of fun. It is, is it nerve wracking. It is nerve wracking. You have crazy people come up to you that have no talent that want to be represented. Well, I have people that come up to me with aspirations of being famous. Yes. And how do you let them down gently? Well, you have to be honest. You have to sort of channel their energies into the things that you know. Hopefully, they can do and be positive and but yet honest. Obviously. So you probably offer them an office job. Well, maybe you could do some typing. No, I'm only kidding. No, it must be hard because, you know, there's so many talented people, so you really have to kind of pick and choose, right? Yeah, but there's stuff, so there's something for everybody, obviously, and you don't want to, you know, crush anybody's dreams, and somebody needs to book the job, so why shouldn't it be any one of them? Right. They all can't be Mikey Cosimano's, right? No, there's only one Mikey Cosimano. Right. 
Well, I just have to say, again, we're at the Work Life Matters thing. Really great event. Why is this important to you? It's important to me because people need to be comfortable in the workplace. They need to be comfortable in their life. They need to be who they are, and, and I support that. So many strides being made for LGBT people in the workforce. We are now going to be highlighting and honoring these people tonight at the Work Life Gala. So nice to have you both here. You're very handsome. Thank you very much. You too. Thank you. I know, right? You know, it's so funny. The French, there's no bad-looking people in France. There's no fat people in France either. I don't get it. All those fries doesn't make any sense. Well, listen, have a wonderful evening. Thank you. We're delighted Thank to be here. Thank you very much.